Welcome to Snoozecast, the podcast designed to help you fall asleep. Find us on snoozecast.com and follow us on Instagram at snoozecast to find behind the scenes content. If you enjoy our show, please write a review on the Apple Podcasts app. Or, if you don't have an Apple device, at podchaser.com slash snoozecast. That's P-O-D-C-H-A-S-E-R dot com slash snoozecast. This episode is brought to you by Molasses and Cinnamon. Tonight, we'll read selections about baking breads and cakes from the Charlotte Sunshine Cookbook, published in 1906. This episode starts with a long-form poem about baking bread, then into bread recipes. If you stay awake for the second half, you will hear cake recipes, including several using hickory nuts. A relative of walnuts and pecans, there are many varieties of hickory tree nuts and not all of them are edible or palatable to humans. But if you forage for wild hickory nuts of the right type, they are supposed to be one of the most delicious nuts and can be eaten raw. Let's get cozy. Close your eyes. Relax your body into the softness of your bed. Now, take a few deep breaths. Bread. We're going to show the steps to take so you may learn good bread to make. First, mix a lukewarm quart, my son or daughter, one half of milk and one half of water. To this, please add two cakes of yeast, or the liquid kind, if preferred, in the least. Next, stir in a teaspoonful of nice, clear salt. If this bread isn't good, it won't be our fault. Now add the sugar, tablespoonfuls three. Mix well together, for dissolved they must be. Pour the whole mixture into an earthen bowl. A pan's just as good if it hasn't a hole. It's the cook and the flour not the bowl or the pan, that makes the bread that makes the man. Some people like a little shortening power. If this is your choice, just add to the flour two tablespoonfuls of lard and jumble it about till the flour and lard are mixed without doubt. Next, Stir the flour into the mixture that stood, waiting to play its part to make the bread good. Mix it up thoroughly, but not too thick. Some flours make bread that's more like a brick. Now grease well a bowl and put the dough in. Don't fill the bowl full. That would be a sin for the dough is all right and it's going to rise till you will declare that it's twice the old size. Brush the dough with melted butter, as the recipes say. Cover with a bread towel. Set it in a warm place to stay two hours or more to rise until light. When you see it grow, you'll know it's
it's all right. As soon as it's light, place again on the board. Knead it well this time. Here is knowledge to hoard. Now back in the bowl, once more it must go. And set again to rise for an hour or so. Form the dough into loaves when light, and place it in bread pans, greased just right. Shape each loaf you make to half fill the pan. This bread will be good enough for any young man. Next, let it rise to the level of pans no more. Have the temperature right. Don't set near a door. We must be careful about drafts. It isn't made to freeze. Keep the rules good and warm. Say, 72 degrees. Now put it in the oven. It's ready to bake. Keep uniform fire. Great results are at stake. One hour more of waiting, and you'll be repaid by bread that is worthy of being made. Potato Bread Cook three medium-sized potatoes and mash fine. Put two tablespoons of flour in a crock and two tablespoons granulated sugar, two tablespoons salt. Mix this in a thin paste with cold water. Then add two quarts boiling water. Add mashed potatoes. Stir in yeast or starter. Cover and let stand until morning. In the morning, add as much warm water, not boiling, as desired. Stir in flour to make a thick batter. Let rise two or three hours. Mix stiff. Grease your pan. Let rise ten or fifteen minutes. Mix down. Don't mix too much. Let rise and mold into loaves. Let rise and then bake in a moderate oven. Salt Rising Bread One pint warm water, pinch of salt, one teaspoon of soda. Mix very thin batter with flour. Set where it will stay warm. In the morning, warm some flour in the mixing pan. Warm one quart of milk. Add butter the size of a walnut. Put emptyings and milk in flour and stir until it is a thick batter. Add salt. Let set a couple of hours. Mix not as stiff as other bread. Let stand until it rises. Then put in pans. Bake for one hour. A quick way to make bread. Thoroughly mix a cake of compressed yeast and a pinch of salt in one quart of lukewarm milk. Stir in flour as long as it can be stirred with a spoon. Now put in baking pans. In three or four hours, it is ready to bake. It is said to be better than bread laboriously kneaded by hand. Graham loaf. One cup sweet milk. One cup sugar. Two eggs. Scant cup 
sour milk, one cup molasses, one teaspoonful salt and soda each. Beat eggs and soda in sour milk. Mix all other ingredients and sift in enough graham flour to make a stiff batter. Steam two hours and bake for one half hour. Boston Brown Bread Two cups cornmeal Two cups rye flour One cup molasses One teaspoonful soda Salt Sour milk to mix Put into cans and steam two and a half or three hours Graham bread, one quart water, one yeast cake, a large tablespoonful salt. Make a stiff batter with pure graham meal and let it rise overnight in cold weather. When light, add a teaspoon soda, two or three cups sugar and a tablespoonful of melted butter. Stir and beat thoroughly. Mold into soft loaves with white flour. Raised Biscuit Dissolve one tablespoonful butter in one pint hot water. When lukewarm, stir in one quart flour. Add one beaten egg. Add a little salt, one cup of yeast. Work into dough till smooth. In winter, set in a warm place to rise. In summer, set in a cool place. In the morning, work softly and roll out one inch thick and cut into biscuits. Place in pans and set to rise for 30 minutes. Bake. These are delicious. Baking powder biscuits. Sift one quart flour and three teaspoons baking powder. Rub in two tablespoons of lard or butter, or half and half. Wet with nearly one pint of sweet milk. Roll about one inch thick on well-floured board. Bake for 15 or 20 minutes in a hot oven. Can use more butter and water instead of milk. Soft gingerbread, half cup sugar, one cup molasses, one cup butter, one teaspoon each of ginger, cinnamon, and cloves, two teaspoons soda dissolved in one cup boiling water, two cups of flour, add two well-beaten eggs the last thing before baking. This is excellent. Whole wheat bread. Boil one quart sour milk. Strain. Let the whey cool until the milk is warm. Add one tablespoon of salt. One tablespoonful sugar one cake compressed yeast, and whole wheat flour enough to make a stiff batter. Beat well.
let rise until light. Add flour enough to mix. Knead until soft and elastic. Make into small loaves. When light, bake for 45 minutes in a quick oven. Steamed Boston Brown Bread Three and a half pints of graham flour, one pint of hot water, one pint of molasses, and one pint of buttermilk, one cup seeded raisins, one teaspoonful soda sprinkled in dry after batter is mixed. Steam three hours, then put in the oven for about 20 or 30 minutes to brown. Cinnamon buns. Leave out enough bread dough for one loaf. Then work into that about one cup of lard and one cup of sugar. Let raise nicely after kneading in sufficient flour to make it stiff. When light, roll out, have ready some butter and sugar rubbed together, spread thinly over, sprinkle cinnamon over, and roll up as you would a jelly cake. Slice off about half inch slices, then lay in pans and set them to rise again. When nearly ready for the oven, spread on plenty of butter and sugar and sprinkle on more cinnamon. Bake for about 20 minutes. Steamed cornbread. One cup of sour milk. One cup molasses. Scant cup of raisins. Teaspoonful of soda one cup of cornmeal, one cup of flour, a little salt. Steam for two and a half hours. Cakes. With weights and measures just and true, oven of even heat, well-buttered tins and quiet nerves, Success will be complete. White layer cake. Two cups of sugar. One cup butter. Cream the butter and sugar. One cup sweet milk. Four cups of flour. Whites of five eggs. Two teaspoons baking powder. Filling. Yolks of five eggs. One cup sugar beaten together. Two tablespoons of milk. Butter the size of a walnut. One teaspoon of flour. Three cups of baker's chocolate. Favorite black cake. One cup molasses. One cup sugar. One egg. Butter the size of an egg. Salt and spices. One cup of boiling water. Add fruit and stir all together. Two and a half cups of flour. Coffee cake, one cup sugar, one cup molasses, one egg, one teaspoonful soda, one cup shortening, one cup cold coffee, one cup raisins, one teaspoonful allspice, one teaspoonful cloves, one teaspoonful cinnamon. Three cups of flour to 
to make a stiff batter. Snowball cake. Two cup sugar. One cup butter. Whites of four eggs. One cup sweet milk. Two teaspoons baking powder. Three cups of flour. Flavor to suit taste. Everyday fruit cakes. One pound sugar. One cup butter. One cup sour milk. Four eggs. One pound raisins. One pound English currants. One pound citrons. One nutmeg. One teaspoonful cloves and cinnamon. And one teaspoonful soda. Yeast cake. One cup bread sponge. One cup sugar. Scant cup of butter or lard. One egg. Scant teaspoon of soda. Two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and enough flour to thicken. Jelly cake roll. One and one third cups of sugar. Three eggs. One cup of sweet milk. Two cups of flour. Teaspoonful each of cream tartare and soda. Bake quick and roll with jelly as soon as taken from the oven. Eggless fruit cake. One cup of sugar. One cup buttermilk. Six tablespoons of butter. One teaspoon of soda. One cup chopped raisins. All kinds of spices. One teaspoon lemon. Flour raisins. Flour until stiff enough that it will not run from the spoon. Angel cake. Sift one teaspoonful cream tartare six times with one cup of flour. Whip the whites of six eggs until they stand alone. Then gradually stir into them a scant cup of granulated sugar and sifted flour. Beat very hard. Turn into a clear, lightly greased pan with a funnel in the center. Bake in a steady oven. Then turn the pan upside down upon a clean towel, and as the cake cools, it will slip out of the tin. When cold, ice the bottom and sides of the loaf. Tried and very good. Hickory nut cake. One cup of butter. Two cups of granulated sugar. Three cups of flour. One cup of sweet milk. Whites of seven and yolks of two eggs. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One pint of hickory nut meats rolled and sprinkled with flour. Rich and excellent. White fruit cake. One cup of butter beaten to a cream. Add two cups of sugar. Three of flour. In which two teaspoons of baking powder have been sifted. And the stiffly beaten whites of six eggs. Bake in 
jelly tins, and while hot, put between the layers the following. Chop fine a pound each of figs, seeded raisins, citron, blanched almonds, and stir them into three whites of eggs beaten stiff, a teacup of granulated sugar, and the juice of a lemon. Put this between the layers and frost. A most delicious cake. White cake. One cup granulated sugar. Three cups of butter. The whites of three eggs. One cup of sweet milk. One cup of flour. One teaspoon of vanilla. Three even teaspoons of baking powder. Bake in two layers. Dressing to pour over cake. One pint of boiling water. One tablespoon of butter. One tablespoon of flour. One teacup of sugar. Mix flour and sugar together dry, then moisten this with a little water. Beat the yolks of the eggs, add boiling water, juice of one lemon, and grate the yellow rind. Fruit cake. Two cups of sugar, two cups of bread sponge, one cup of butter, one cup of black molasses, one cup of chopped raisins, one cup of currants and citron, two eggs, one teaspoon of soda, all kinds of spices. Stir quite stiff, let raise, and bake. Hickory Nut Loaf Cake Cream a cup of butter and two cups of sugar together. When very light, stir in a cup of cold water and three cups of milk. Five eggs beaten light. Three cups of flour sifted with two teaspoons of baking powder and a salt spoon of salt. Last of all, two cups of hickory nut kernels dredged with flour. Bake a loaf in a steady oven. Cover with paper the first half of the baking. Pink and white cake. Two cups of sugar. One cup of milk. Two tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, three cups of flour. Divide the batter and color half with pink fruit coloring. White layer cake. One and one half cups of sugar, one cup of butter, one cup of sweet milk, two teaspoonfuls of baking powder, two cups of flour, and the whites of four eggs. Filling for cake. One egg, one cup of sugar, grated rind and juice of small lemon, apple grated, cook for five minutes. Sunshine. The whites of seven eggs. The yolks of five eggs. One cup of granulated sugar. One cup of flour. One teaspoonful of cream tartare and pinch of salt. Sieve, flour.
flour and sugar five times more as for angel cake. Beat yolks thoroughly. Work beaten and whites about half. Add cream tartare and beat very stiff. Stir in sugar lightly. Thin the beaten yolks thoroughly. Then add flour and flavoring. Put in two pans at once. <laughs>